Good day, students. This is your teacher, Dari Koz. Uh, under this topic, we have discussed uh, types of acid based on where we can find them, based on their sources. We talked about uh, organic acids and inorganic acids, which we call mineral acid. We have also discussed type of acid based on their degree of ionization when dissolved in water. So there we talked about... Uh, uh, the strong acids and the weak acids. So today we're talking about types of acid based on the amount of water present in the solution of those acids. And here I present to you concentrated acid and dilute acid. When you're talking about acids that are dangerous, that burn the skin, that do this, that do that, you're talking about concentrated acid. And those ones, the one with more water version of it is uh, dilute acid. What is concentrated acid in the first place? It is the acid that contains large, it is a uh, one that contains large amounts of the acid material in small volume of water. So if you understand my choice of language there in the underlying word, large amount of acid material present in small volume of water that is concentrated acid so when you think about this uh think of this like uh you bought biggie apple or you bought uh um chapman and then you and then you 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 drank it like that you know the sweetness the refreshing taste will be there very strong but that is what we call concentrated but if you now add water to it and you increase the volume by adding water you see that even though the volume of the uh big yap or the chapman whatever you have uh, you have added water to the volume will increase but the sweetness will decrease so by adding water to that uh drink what you are doing to the drink is you are diluting the drink and the drink become less sweet because you have diluted it so a dilute acid also is one which contains small amount of the acidic material in a large volume of water the one that contains small amount of the acidic material in a large volume of water is what we call a dilute acid before you can dilute an acid you need to add water to it so you dilute acid by increasing the amount of water present in the acid. As you can see in um, what we have here now, small water here, and when you add that water there, the volume increased, but the amount of the acid inside still remains the same. So here you have in a concentrated acid because the water there is small. And here you have a dilute acid because the water there is very large. So that is what's meant by dilute acid. And the more water you are adding, the more dilute the acid will be. Or if you like, the more water you are adding, the less concentrated the acid will be. Like here now where we have 100 ml of water, the acid will be very concentrated. Compared to where you have 400 ml of water, you can see that this acid here will be very, 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 very dilute. So the more water you add, the more the dilute, uh, the more diluted the acid will be, and the lesser the concentration of the acid. So take note of that. And to refresh, a, uh, to refresh our memory again, a dilute acid is one that contains small amount of the acidic material in large volume of water why a concentrated acid contains large amount of the acidic material in small volume of water so let's talk about how do you dilute an acid how do you increase the water content of an acid you dilute acid by increasing the amount of water but how do you do this when you are diluting an acid take note of this you don't add water to the acid instead you add acid to water the reason is because like you can see in the 
in this picture below when you when you when water mix with acid a lot of heat is generated so much that sometimes the solution of the acid begins to boil and the vapor can cause acid burn so to prevent that you have to add you have to measure the volume of water they want to use then gently add the acid to the water instead of the water to the acid so that's the reason you are doing that you add acid to water you don't add water to acid it's a laboratory precaution when you are diluting an acid always add acid to water not the other way around i want you to want to take note of this because many students confuse themselves concerning strength and concentration strength of an acid is an intrinsic property of an acid a weak acid will always remain a weak acid there's nothing you are going to do to a weak acid to make it strong and a strong acid will always remain strong acid there's nothing you can do to it to make it weak because that property is actually intrinsic strength has to do with degree of ionization of the acid in water why concentration has to do with the amount of water present in the acid a strong acid can be concentrated and a strong acid can be dilute a weak acid can also be concentrated it can also be dilute is dilute condition is is a function of how much water is present in the acid but strength is a function of the degree of ionization how will they ionize if they are inside water that is strength so don't ever mistake a strong acid for a conk acid a strong acid does not does not necessarily mean that it's going to be concentrated take note of that so and a dilute acid also doesn't mean that it's going to be weak so you can see here in this picture hcl is a strong acid it's a strong acid we all know that the ionization is complete everything we turn into ion inside the water it will completely dissociate but it can exist as a concentrated acid if the water is small and it can also exist as a dilute acid if the water is large as you can see this is a strong acid is dilutes that same strong acid can be concentrated so please take note of the difference between strength and concentration here is a weak acid it is weak because it is not completely ionizing in water ethanoic acid you remember is a weak acid so is weak acid it can be dilute can be concentrated strong acid can be dilute can be concentrated so take note of that the opposite of weak is strong and the opposite of dilute is concentrated so don't mistake strong for concentrated they are two different uh parameters so let's uh take note of that as you can see here now a dilute acid we have low concentration why a conk acid is having high concentration a weak acid partially dissolve in partially ionizes in water a strong acid fully ionizes in water so those are the major difference between a conk acid and a dilute uh, between a conk acid dilute acid strong acid and a weak acid take note of that very well i can make a conk acid to become dilute by increasing the water content i can make a dilute acid to become uh, uh to become concentrated by adding more acid but i cannot make a weak acid to become strong i cannot make a strong acid to become weak take note of that very very important so 
before we end the class today let's look at some confidence building questions this this, uh, this question has been extracted from uh utme and uh why ssc past questions under this which of the following explain why h2so4 is a strong acid is it because it's diabetic is it because it is concentrated is it because it's completely ionized in a cure solution is it because the acid is very very reactive so you choose your answer there is it because the acid is corrosive why is it a uh, strong acid let's see question number two a strong take note of this and dilute h2so4 you can see that again that language again two different parameters a strong dilute h2so4 ionizes how slowly but contains more water than acid fast but has more water than acid fast but contains more acid than water slowly but contains more acid than water so you let us know what is your answer there if you have any question you can put it down in the comment section below and i will attend to your, to your question appropriately number three the number of hydrogenium ion that will be produced from one molecule of an acid is known as what is it acid strength is it ph is it acidity or is it the basicity of the acid so let's see the next question question number four a weak acid is one which is it that is nice completely that has a low ph value that is not corrosive or that that is nice partially in solution Let's see number five question. Propanoic acid is what? Is it tribasic? Is it dibasic? Is it monobasic? Is it unionizable? Let's see number six question now. An acid is a substance that interacts with water to produce what? Is to produce hydrogen gas? Is to produce hydrogenium ion? To produce hydroxide ion? Or to produce effervescence. Effervescence means bubbles of gas coming out. Number seven, a species that you always find in acidified water is what? Is it OH minus? Is it NH4 plus? Is it O2 minus? Is it H3O plus? Which of them will you always find inside uh, water, acidified water? What is the basicity of the acid in the following reaction? See the reaction. What is the basicity of the acid that is present this acid this acid is what we are talking about what is the basicity of the acid now is it four is it three is it two and is it one so you answer that question so let us see a few essay questions well, the differentiate between a strong acid and uh, concentrated acid was we we'll also to differentiate in question number two between a dilute acid and a weak acid so try this on your own and see how much you have grabbed the, you have grabbed the concept of dilute of conch acid and a dilute acid next in our next topic i'll be top, uh, i'll be teaching you calculations of concentration how do we express concentration god bless you